Hey, what's up guys, I'm from BSC Tech. Today we have a couple of keyboards and I'm going to show you which keyboard is going to work with your smart TV. Uh, today we'll be using uh, this Logitech Key 400. This particular keyboard comes with uh, a trackpad as well, which you can use on your smart TV. The model I've shown you before, as you can see that this one is uh, a particular model called K400 and these two they are different models this one is uh, a retro keyboard I don't know the company name but uh, this one comes with uh, this trackpad but unfortunately this one does not work with any of the associated apps on the TV however this small tiny keyboard I uh, made a video last year was working fine uh, with the uh, exception of a few mainstream apps for example uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime and others. So today we will be using this keyboard and uh, we'll see this keyboard works with which app and if there is any restriction. Uh, a lot of questions have uh, been asked recently that can you use this trackpad as a mouse pad on your TV. So I'll be showing you how this keyboard will work and uh, will this make any difference to your smart TV experience. So let's jump into the video. So let's move on towards the first part which is to connect this uh, dongle with the hub on the TV. A very simple and easy task which anybody can do. And if I focus on this one, let's attach that. Okay, so our dongle is now attached, which means our TV should recognize, yes, the keyboard. Let's put the remote here. This one is for the Fire Stick, Amazon Fire Stick, and that's for the Samsung series. And I'm sure you will be able to use this with the most of the smart TVs nowadays, because that's a standard thing, as long as uh, there's a Bluetooth connection. You should be fine. So the first thing is you can use this as a remote control. Okay. And this one is working fine. Let's try the internet section first and see if this touchpad will work on that. So as you can see that uh, the touchpad seems working. So double click on that. So browsing should be alright if you want to search something here, should be super fast. As you can see the scrolling is absolutely fine and we did that with uh, this keyboard as well using this trackpad and that was absolutely fine. So this section is done. If you want to search something on the web. There should be no problem. Let's move on to the next section. Which is to open something else. Let's open Amazon Prime and see if this part will work on Amazon Prime. This is a key moment guys. Uh, remote seems working fine. Let's go into the settings first and see if there is any input. Uh, if there is any input option. So we can replace, now there isn't anything, so okay this part is working fine, so unfortunately this section is not working here, so if I want to type something I have to, the keyboard is not working as you can see that, uh, the keyboard is working as a remote control, you can scroll up and down and in all four directions, if I want to type something here. I have to use this uh, to slide my remote and that's fine. There is a problem with that. Let's try this. Okay, so this one is absolutely fine. Let's go back to the next 
thing which is to check these keys F1 and nothing F2 no has to add to the favorites F3 nothing F4 nothing F5 is to bring the home menu F6 home menu again F7 exit which is all right go back to Amazon Prime and see how it's behaving okay we'll take us back F8 is mute F9 and F10 seems to be the volume okay what do we have on F10 F9 F10 volume F11 does not do anything F12 it's also not showing anything insert delete tab caps shift control windows windows is the same menu will take you out of the app and then function alt space so here we have uh, amazon prime and this thing is not working let's jump into the next one let's talk about bbc iplayer c this will work on bbc iplayer okay it's a little bit temperamental but We'll try to work on this one and uh, yeah this looks fine and I believe yeah mouse and tra tra trackpad is also working with the help of uh, the navigation keys on so guys this is the second bit where you can use this so if I touch on this one and click on this option okay it will take me there so now you have seen that uh, the trackpad is also working on I can't press that so here we have another problem trackpad is working partially it's not taking us inside the app so let's try this one let's try this mouse option and hold it and press it let's try this home that's not working let's try function key you might take with the function key let's double press If I try to press both buttons at the same time, it's not taking in. So guys, that was the second app where it's not working. Let's go out and see where we can use this. Channel 4, Internet. I assume if this trackpad works on one of these apps, it will only work partially with the uh, a uh, few bits and pieces and it will not give you 100% support big disappointment yeah but on the on the plus side you can use your uh, uh, wireless keyboard if you ever happen to lose your uh, remote control so you don't end up with uh, a tv without a remote control so that's it for today's uh, video guys i hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned a lot on how to use a wireless keyboard uh, as a remote control as well as on a different integrated apps on your smart tv you can use this uh, uh, method on different smart tvs and do let us know in the comment section below if you find any difficulty i'll be more than happy to help all i need is a little appreciation in the form of uh, sharing this video and if you hit and subscribe to my channel that will encourage me to create more interesting videos for future take good care of yourself have a good day bye bye